Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. Question says, show that the right circular cone of least curved surface and given volume has an altitude equal to root 2 times the radius of the base. First of all, let us understand that if function f is defined in interval i and c belongs to interval i such that f double dash c exists then x is equal to c is a point of local minima if f dash c is equal to 0 and f double dash c is greater than 0. This is the key idea to solve the given question. Now let us start with the solution. Let R and H be the radius and height of the given cone and L is the slant height of the given cone. Now volume of the cone that is V is given by 1 upon 3 pi r square h. Now multiplying both sides by 3 upon pi h we get 3V upon pi h is equal to r square or we can simply write r square is equal to 3v upon pi h. Now curved surface area of cone that is s is given by pi r n. Now we know l is equal to square root of h square plus r square. So we can write S is equal to pi r multiplied by square root of h square plus r square. Now squaring both sides of this expression we get s square is equal to pi square multiplied by r square multiplied by h square plus r square. Now let us name this expression as 1 and this expression as 2. Now substituting value of r square from expression 1 in expression 2 we get s square is equal to pi square multiplied by 3v upon pi h multiplied by h square plus 3v upon pi h. Now simplifying we get s square is equal to 3v pi h plus 9v square upon h square. Now differentiating both sides with respect to h we get 2s multiplied by ds upon dh is equal to 3v pi plus 9v square multiplied by minus 2h upon h raised to the power 4. Now simplifying further we get 2s ds upon dh is equal to 3v pi minus 18v square upon h cube. Now dividing both sides by 2s we get ds upon dh is equal to 
1 upon 2 is multiplied by 3v pi minus 18v square upon h cube. Now we will find all the points at which ds upon dh is equal to 0. So we will put ds upon dh is equal to 0. This implies 1 upon 2 is multiplied by 3v pi minus 18v square upon h cube is equal to 0. Now this implies 3v pi minus 18v square upon h cube is equal to 0. Multiplying both sides of this expression by 2s, we get this expression. Now, if we take 3v common on left hand side, we get 3v multiplied by pi minus 6v upon h cube is equal to 0. Now, this implies 3v is equal to 0 or pi minus 6v upon h cube is equal to 0. Now dividing both sides of this equation by 3 we get v is equal to 0. But volume of the cone can never be equal to 0. So we will neglect this value. So we can write neglecting 3v is equal to 0. We get pi minus 6v upon h cube is equal to 0. Now adding 6v upon h cube on both sides we get pi is equal to 6v upon h cube. Multiplying both sides by h cube we get pi h cube is equal to 6v. Now dividing both sides by pi we get h cube is equal to 6v upon pi. Now we know v is equal to 1 upon 3 pi r square h. We have already shown it above. So we can write h cube is equal to 6 upon pi multiplied by 1 upon 3 pi r square h. Now simplifying we get h cube is equal to pi will cancel pi and we know 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. So we get h cube is equal to 2 r square h. Now dividing both sides by h we get h square is equal to 2 r square. Now taking square root on both the sides we get h is equal to square root, root of 2 multiplied by r. We were required to prove that altitude of the cone is equal to root 2 times the radius of the base. So we can see h is equal to root 2 r. Now we will prove that curved surface area of the cone is minimum at h is equal to root 2 r. To show that surface area is minimum at h is equal to root 2 r, first of all we will find second derivative of s. We know 2 multiplied by s multiplied by ds upon dh is equal to 3v pi minus 18v square upon h cube. This we have already shown above. Now differentiating both sides of this equation with respect to h we get 2 multiplied by s d square s upon dh square plus ds upon dh whole square is equal to 54 multiplied by v square multiplied by h square upon h raised to the power 6. We know derivative of this term is equal to 0 and we will apply quotient rule to find the derivative of this term. Now Derivative of this term is equal to 54 v square h square upon h raised to the power 6. Now dividing both sides by 2 we get s 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय डी स्क्वायर एस अपॉन डी एच स्क्वायर प्लस डी एस अपॉन डी एच स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन बी स्क्वायर एच स्क्वायर अपॉन एच रेज टू दी पावर सिक्स नाउ एच स्क्वायर विल कैंसिल टू एच फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर एंड वी गेट एच रेज टू दी पावर फोर इन द डिनोमिनेटर so we can write as d square s upon dh square plus ds upon dh square is equal to 27 v square upon h raised to the power 4 now substituting h is equal to root 2r in this equation we get s multiplied by d square s upon dh square plus 0 square is equal to 27 v square upon root 2 r raised to the power 4 we know at h is equal to root 2 r ds upon dh is equal to 0 now this implies S multiplied by d square s upon d h square is equal to twenty seven v square upon four multiplied by r raised to the power four. Now this further implies d square s upon d h square is equal to twenty seven v square upon s multiplied by four. Multiplied by r raised to the power four. Now this is greater than zero. We know volume, radius, and surface area can never have negative value. So second derivative is greater than zero. Now we get at h is equal to root two r d s upon d h is equal to zero and d square s upon d h square is greater than zero. This implies. H is equal to root two r is a point of local minima. Or we can say surface area is least at h is equal to root two r. Hence proved. This completes the session. Hope you understood the solution. Take care and keep smiling.